Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will gonna show how to port forwarding in Kali Linux without router access step by step. So in this tutorial, we are going to use the local tunnel to expose your local host to the world. So let's start. The local tunnel exposes your local host to the world for easy testing and sharing. No need to mess with DNS or deploy, just to have others test out your changes. Local Tunnel will assign you a unique publicly accessible URL that will proxy all requests to your locally running web server. So first of all you have to update and upgrade your Kali Linux using this command. Now you have to install the npm using this command. It is a package manager for the JavaScript programming language. Because local tunnel requires Node.js. And we will install the local tunnel using the npm package manager. So this is the command to install the local tunnel in your Kali Linux. Now local tunnel's installation is complete. Now I want to share my local demo website so I can access it from anywhere in the world. So, first of all, you have to install and configure the web server. Here I already installed the Apache web server. You can start the Apache 2 web service using this command. And you can check the Apache 2 service status using this command. And here my Apache 2 web service is active and running without any error. And if you want how to install an Apache server in Kali Linux click on the i button here. Now I open my local website on localhost. So I want to share this website. So we have to forward the port 80. So this is the command to request a tunnel to your local server. Or you can say this is the command to port forwarding using the local tunnel. Now you will get the link that is accessible from anywhere in the world. You can share with anyone for as long as your local instance of LT remains active. Any requests will be routed to your local service at the specified port. So I am open this link in my web browser. You will get this warning message on your web browser. This is only for security reasons, so anyone does not misuse this service over the internet. So you have to click on the click to continue button here. Now you can see your local demo website is accessible through this link. That means this service is working fine in my system. Now to verify this link is accessible from anywhere in the world. So I open Tor Browser. So if you want to learn how to install Tor Browser click on the i button here. Now I open the same link here. I get the same warning message here. And now you can see the website is working here also. And you can check the Tor network is also working fine here. Now if you stop the service you will lose your link. You will get 404 errors on this link. And if you start the service again you will get the new link, so you have to share your new link. So that is it. This is the way, how to port forwarding in Kali Linux without router access. Thank you for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe my channel, so you don't miss out on my future videos. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next video.